Hey everyone, welcome to Virtual Church, the Master's Table. Uh, Chris Ryan here. And um, I want to look at a, a new series called Time for Change. Time for Change. Um, Romans chapter 1 is where we're at. Let's read from verse 7 through 15 from the New Living Translation. It says this, I'm writing to all of you in Rome who are loved by God and are called to be his own people. May God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ give you grace and peace. Let me first say that I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you because of your faith in him is being talked about all over the world. God knows how often I pray for you. Day and night I bring you and your needs in prayer to God, whom I serve with all my heart by spreading the good news about his son. Verse 10 says this, One of the things I always pray for is the opportunity, God willing, to come to at last to see you. For I long to visit you so I can bring you some spiritual gift that will help you grow strong in the Lord. When we get together, I want to encourage you in your faith, but I also want to be encouraged by yours. I want you to know, dear brothers and sisters, that I plan many times to visit you, but I was prevented until now. I want to work among you and see spiritual fruit, just as I have seen among other Gentiles. For I have a great sense of obligation to people in both the civilized world and the rest of the world, to the educated and the uneducated alike. So I'm eager to come to you in Rome, too, to preach the good news. Now, Paul's writing the letter we call Romans to the people in Rome, which we call Christians. He addresses them differently as people who are loved by God and called to be his own holy people. This describes not only the recipients of Paul's letter, but all of us who belong to God through Jesus Christ. Perhaps the most important thing that could be said about us is that we are loved by God because we are his beloved he sent Christ to save us bring us into an intimate relationship with him so the fact that God loves us is the the, the, the cement it, it's the rock of our existence it reassures us it encourages us and it motivates us so the love of God also inspires us to live as his own people we are God's saints those who have been set apart by him for relationship and service. So as holy people, we belong to God even though we live in this world. We seek to be like him, to act as he acts, and to honor him in everything we do. Our holiness touches not just our private life or our religious activities, but our whole life in this world at work, at leisure, politics, volunteering, we are to live for God and to serve Him. Holiness is an essential element of our high calling as Christians. Now, sometimes the call of God can bring about disappointment, heartache, and even extraordinary sense of isolation from others. Acts chapter 20 verse 22 through 24 tells us that. Perhaps this is why Paul is so passionately communicating the depths of how sincere he is in connecting with biblical community in Rome. Why he's so passionate about community, biblical community, in the body of Christ. For it is there where we connect with other believers. It's there where we, we are charged with that similar calling of proclaiming the gospel. It is there that Paul, Paul's appreciation for the relationships with fellow Christians prompting him to pray that it be God's will for him to have a chance to come and fellowship with them. And not just that he could impart some spiritual gift, verse 11, but that he and the other members would be mutually encouraged by each other's faith and that he would also be what encouraged by theirs. So each of us as Christians should have a desire, even a sense of responsibility, to build up and encourage each other in our shared faith. It is in this setting that we, are f that we fully realize that our struggles with sin, our struggles with hardships, painful family dynamics are not as unique as we tend to think or tend to uh, trick ourselves into believing. Community connections dissolve away. Community connections help with that isolation that we find ourselves in life. 
and the community connections help with the sense of discouragement and despair and defeat that we can experience sometimes as individuals but we are connected to community and that's why it's so important we are connected to each other in the body of Christ for biblical community because this is not a solo sport this is a team effort and so maybe blessed by this there's going to be uh, some questions uh, attached to this uh, devotional as well and let's be biblical community and let's always be feasting together from the master's table. God bless you.